Constantly. Constantly, Yama Anuja, Yama Anuja. The, river the river Yamuna, who is considered, who is considered the younger sister of, younger sister of Yamaraj. Yamaraj, Gambira, Gambira. Toya, Toya, Oga, Oga. Of, the very deep water. of the very deep water, Java, Java. by the force, Urmi, by the waves, Penila, Penila, full of foam, Bayanaka, Bayanaka, fierce, Avarta, Avarta Sata, by the whirling waves, Akula, agitated, Nadi, the river. The river. Margam, Margam Ve, Ve. Dado, Dado Gave, Gave. Sindhu, Sindhu Eva, Eva Like the ocean, ocean. Shriyapate Unto Lord Ramachandra The husband of the goddess Sita Translation Because of constant <coughs> rain sent by the demigod Indra The river Yamuna was filled with <coughs> deep water <coughs> foaming about with fierce, fiercely whirling waves. Mm -hmm. But as the great Indian Ocean had formerly given way to Lord Ramachandra by allowing him to construct a bridge, <coughs> the river Yamuna gave way to Vasu, Vasudeva and allowed him to cross. We don't have purport, so we can read number 51 also. So tomorrow can be 50, 52. <coughs> Maybe I, can I translate? Uh -huh. Yeah, please. Should I just understand? Yeah, 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 that would be nice. But I can't translate because I cannot translate same time for me is difficult. Yeah, okay. Would you like me same to speak and then? Same time by same time. Okay, okay. Do that. Yeah, just take it. Okay, thank you. Uh, don't need to do the uh, translation and this. He can read by himself, no? And then I, yeah, once I sp start I speaking. Just, just forgot his glasses cannot read. Oh, okay. Okay. So we read number 51. I just read translation, uh, uh, the Sanskrit, and then I can go on to read the translation. Nanda Vrajam Sauri Rupatya Tatratan Gopan Prasuptam Upalabhya Nidraya Sutam Yashoda Sayane Nidai. Nidayatat sutam upadaya punar graham agat. Translation When Vasudev reached the house of Nanda Maharaj, he saw that all the cowherd men were fast asleep. Thus, he placed his own son on the bed of Yashoda, picked up her daughter, an expression of Yogamaya, and then returned to his residence, the prison house of Kamsa. Purport Vasudev knew. Very well, that as soon as the daughter was in the prison house of Kamsa, Kamsa would immediately kill her. But to protect his own child, he had to kill the child of his friend. Nanda Maharaj was his friend, but out of deep affection and attachment for his own son, he knowingly did this. Srila Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur says that one cannot be blamed for protecting one's own child as a sacrifice of another. Uh, another's. Furthermore, Vasudev cannot be accused of callousness since his actions were impelled by the force of Yoga Maya. The, the, the verse before, you read 
50. Yeah, 50. We really can say yeah. that. Okay. Alors, uh, so I read it also 50. Yeah. Donc, uh, traduction des versets 50 et 51. Verset 50. Comme le déva Indra déversait une pluie incessante, les eaux de la Yamuna grossirent, couvertes par l'écume des vagues et des tourbillons effrayants. Mais tout comme le grand océan indien avait jadis livré passage à Sri Ramachandra en lui laissant construire la Yamuna et sa traversée Vasudev. Verset 51. Lorsque Vasudev arriva à la demeure de Nanda Maharaj, il vit que tous les pattes étaient profondément endormis. Alors il déposa son propre fils sur le lit de, de Yashoda, prit la petite fille qui venait de naître, une manifestation de Yoga Maya, puis rentra chez lui dans la prison de Kamsa. Demeure est portée. Vasudev savait très bien que dès que la petite fille serait dans la prison de Kamsa, celui-ci la tuerait sur le champ. Mais afin de protéger son propre enfant, il devait tuer à la mort l'enfant de son ami. Nanda Maharaj était son ami, mais à cause de sa profonde affection et de son attachement pour son propre fils, il agit sciemment. Srila Vishwana Chakravati Thakur dit que l'on ne peut blâmer quelqu'un de protéger son enfant au dépend de celui d'un autre. De plus, Vasudev ne peut être accusé de dureté de cœur car ses actes étaient déterminés par la volonté de Yoga Maya. Ok, done. Ok, Anna Timirandasya, Kyananjala Shalakaya, Chakshurun Militam Mena, Tasmai Shri Guravena Maha. Shri Chaitanya Mano Vistam, Stapitam Mena Bhutale, Swayam Rupa Kadamayam, Dadati Swa Padandikam. Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yuta Padakamlam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shri Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sakana Raghunatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Raghunatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitam Shri Hey Krishna, Karuna Sindhu, Dina Bando, Jagatpate, Gopesha, Gopika Kanta, Radha Kanta, Namastate, Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi, Rade Vrindavaneshwari, Vishabhanu Sute Devi, Pranamami Hari Pri, Vancha Kalpataru Vyasya, Kripa Sindhu Bevacha, Patitana Pavane Pyo, Vaishnave Pyo, Namo Namaha, Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gada, Shiva Sati, Vrinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Mom Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prasthaya, Nandalesh, Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Pranam, Namaste Saraswati, Gauravam Shani, Rishay Shunavat, Pasyata Vestani. Hare Krishna, we welcome everyone to the morning program. Thank you all for being here. I would like to seek the blessings of the senior devotees. Gaudamandala Prabhu. Uh, Mahasankar Prabhu, you can give me blessings, I can <laughs> speak something. <coughs> so, um, we are at the 10th canto now, Srimad Bhagavatam. This is the canto of Srila Prabhupada. Uh, Srila Prabhupada uh, translated till 13, I think he stopped there. Mm-hmm. So, this is a very special uh, uh, canto. So, we are the 10th chant of Srimad Bhagavatam, where Prabhupada has traduced to the 13th chapitre. C'est un canto avant qu'il qui se lance. Donc c'est un, un, un chant très spécial. Uh, after this, Srila Prabhupada's disciples translated the rest of uh, 11th and 12th cantos, including the 10th canto. Et à partir du 13e chapitre, le reste du Srimad Bhagavatam a été traduit par ses disciples. Uh, 10th canto is very special because it, uh, it, it uh, brings <coughs> Krishna's pastimes into 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 light. Uh, once some devotee asked Srila Prabhupada, can we make a movie on the tenth canto? <laughs> Prabhupada said, okay, make a movie on the first canto first. Il a dit oui, mais d'abord fait un film du premier chant. And, pro, and he went back and said, Prabhupada, can I finish the first canto movie and then I can start the second canto? <laughs> Prabhupada said, uh, sorry, uh, he said, can I start the tenth canto? He said, no, start the second canto. Et uh, après qu'il a dit, j'ai fini le premier film, quand j'ai fini le premier film, je peux commencer le deuxième. 
Mais le, pour, enfin, tu peux commencer pour le deuxième chant et dire non, non, bah, tu fais le premier chant, ensuite tu fais, c'est pas un film, tu fais le film, le deuxième chant. So, you got the point that we have to go through one after the other, we cannot just jump to the tenth canto. Donc ça c'est pour nous montrer qu'il faut lire tous les, tous les chants avant de, de, d'arriver au dixième chant, on ne va pas directement juste au dixième chant. It's very unique also, as soon as Prabhupada uh, started giving these books to the world, one of the first books he, he gave was Krishna book. Et c'est intéressant parce que un des premiers livres que Prabhupada a donné au monde, c'est le livre de Krishna. Uh, I'm reading this book, uh, I'll build you a temple by Giriraj Maharaj. Uh, I think it was Hamsadhuta, one of, one of the senior devotees asked Prabhupada, ah, you know, Prabhupada, you know, you, you deny reading the 10th canto straight, but it's a given Krishna book, so how can we understand we have to go and distribute these books onto the street? Yeah. And one day, Hamsadhuta Prabhu, one of the devotees uh, leaders of Shri Prabhupada, he asked him, 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 Vous interdisez, vous blâmez ceux qui lisent le dixième chant directement, mais vous nous avez donné le livre de Krishna, même à distribuer dans la rue, alors pourquoi ça And then Prabhupada said, no, it's not that I don't want read, the world to read the tenth canto, it's, it's, you have to go gradually, so you cannot just jump to the tenth canto. Et il a répondu, non, c'est pas que je, je veux pas qu'on lise le dixième chant, c'est que euh, pour lire le dixième chant, il faut y arriver graduellement. So uh, yeah, he, um, it is said that like, Uh, the first ten cantos are like Krishna's body, and the tenth canto is like uh, Krishna's face. Donc les les premiers chants, les neuf premiers chants, c'est c'est le le corps de Krishna, et le deuxième chant c'est la face, le visage de Krishna. So Acharyas say that when we go take darshan of the deities, what do we see of the deities first? Lotus feet. Lotus feet. Lotus feet. Very good. And then we gradually go up to see Krishna's face arms, you know, Krishna's chest, you know, and then we gradually see Krishna's face. Um, de la même façon, les Acharya, ils nous, ils nous, um, nous encouragent à, quand on va regarder Krishna, on commence pas directement par le visage, on commence par les pieds, graduellement jusqu'à regarder, graduellement monter jusqu'à aller voir le visage de Krishna. Here in the Bhagavatam, we have reached the point where Uh, Krishna is taken birth. Now it is the time <coughs> that um, Krishna, as Vasudev Krishna and you know <coughs> Vrindavan Krishna, you know this is kind of revealed by the Acharyas to us also in this section. <coughs> we have a, um, see Krishna is not just Krishna himself. We have a, Krishna also is different in different uh, oui, oui. Donc, moods. Donc euh, là on a eu l'apparition de Krishna et dans le dixième ch- chemin de Bhagavatam on aura Krishna prendra différentes euh, différents moods, différentes humeurs, différents oui, différentes humeurs quoi, en yeah. fonction de là où il sera, de quel divertissement il va il va nous montrer. In general, we know that in general if you generalize you know, come from Indian background, we know that Uh, yeah, the understanding we have is Krishna takes birth and then Krishna is taken to uh, from Gokul to from Mathura to Gokul. That's what the general understanding we have. Donc le le compréhension générale qu'on a c'est que Krishna est né et il va arriver il va il va arriver de Mathura à Gokul non de Gokul à Mathura. Yeah, Mathura to Gokul. Mathura to Gokul. Yeah, to, to protect Krishna from uh, uh, Kamsa. Pour protéger Krishna de Kamsa. Uh, but our Acharyas explain that Mother Yashoda also gave birth to Vrindavan Krishna. Mais les Acharyas nous révèlent que Mère Yashoda a aussi donné naissance à Vrindavan Krishna. Uh, Devaki also gives birth, but it is Dwarka Krishna. It is not the same Krishna who is in Vrindavan. Devaki, elle a donné naissance à Dvarka Krishna. Some Acharyas explain that, you know, when Vasudev was taking Krishna from Mathura to, to Gokul, that's when the, 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 the mixing happens and then, you know, uh, 
uh, Krishna actually stays back in uh, in Gokul, and then you know we have here even uh, Devaki has has her son there. Et donc le moment, les Acharyas expliquent que le moment où Vasudev emmène Krishna de Mathura à Gokul, donc le verset en question, c'est à ce moment-là qu'il y a une sorte de d'échange qui est fait et en fait il y a il y a le, il y a, un, il y a, il y a le, il y aura Krishna de Gokul, mais aussi il y aura Krishna de Dvarka, qui est le fils de Devaki. There is a lot of uh, commentaries on this uh, section by Jiva Goswami Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. Um, they explain that like every detailed expression happening here, there is a significance behind it. Et donc, Shri Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur et Shri Jiva Goswami, ils nous expliquent dans leur teneur reporté que il y a beaucoup de détails à ce moment précis. We hear that, you know, as soon as Vasudev, you see, he is in, he is in the prison, he is imprisoned, he is put shackles around his hands. Okay, okay. so when, when he took Krishna up and when he started to walk, the shackles automatically came out. Par exemple, Vasudev, quand il va emmener Krishna, quand il est en prison, il a des menottes, il est menotté, tout ça, mais à, part, à partir du moment où il emmène Krishna, où il prend Krishna dans ses bras, pour l'emmener, là, les menottes d'elles-mêmes, elles se, elles se défont. So, same with us. As soon as we take Krishna into our hands and put Krishna into our heart, the shackles of material bondage we have gets ridden. Et de la même façon pour nous, à partir de quand on, met Krishna, quand on a Krishna à cœur, qu'on met notre intention de Krishna à cœur, Là, l'énergie matérielle, elle nous, elle nous, on est libéré de l'énergie matérielle. And the gates of the prison house opened automatically. Et aussi les portes de la prison se sont ouvertes automatiquement. We know that Mahat Sevam Dwaram Ahurva Muktes. When we associate with the saintly people, the gates for uh, uh, the gates for the spiritual world open automatically for us. Et donc le verset que Prabhu a cité pour dire que euh, à, partir, à partir du moment où on s'associe avec des personnes simples, les portes du monde spirituel s'ouvrent. So this is exactly what uh, we could see here again. Uh, Indra is also giving seva to Krishna. Can anybody see from this translation how we can explain Indra is giving seva to Krishna? Et dans ces versets, on peut aussi voir que Indra il se met au service de Krishna. Est-ce que quelqu'un By, by, the rain. Rain. by the rain. Rain is disturbing. <laughs> When Krishna is walking out, you know, you don't want Krishna to Krishna to get wet. <laughs> it's, a, it's a similar answer. It's the rain actually true, but uh, there is something more to it. Donc la pluie, Indra fait tomber la pluie pour rendre service à Krishna. Il y a plus que ça encore. You see, anything, you know, Sishupal abuses Krishna, but Krishna, you know, the way he takes it is like a glorification. No. In the same way, here, uh, when when Nanda uh, when uh, sorry Vasudev started to walk, so the rain started to come. I think it was Jiva Goswami. I heard a class by a devotee on this uh, on this sloka. The devotee explained that Jiva Goswami explains that when the rain started to come, <coughs> see, in, it's in the middle of the night. Krishna is going to Gokul. That means, <coughs> and they don't want Kamsa to know that this is happening. So the rain, when it goes up, what happens? Everyone doesn't want to come out of their house. So there is nobody to watch. So, of course, as soon as the rain intensity goes up, what is the umbrella? Krishna. Ananta. Uh, he manifests. And then uh, Yamuna. <coughs> Gives way that uh, Vasudev can walk. Because so Indra's intention was was not good, like Shishupa. No, no, no. Okay. Indra's intention was also good. Mm. You know, Krishna has taken birth, so he's giving rain. Donc, uh, donc uh, Indra fait tomber la pluie, et du coup, ce qui va se passer, c'est que la, 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 il fait pouvoir une grosse pluie. Alors les gens ne veulent pas sortir. Les, les, les gens de Mathura, même comme ça peut-être. Donc du coup, ça permet à Krishna de pouvoir s'enfuir sans que personne ne sache. Et il y a aussi Anantashesh, 
des émanations de Krishna qui vient du coup protéger Krishna de la pluie. Et il y a aussi la rivière Yamuna qui va s'ouvrir pour Krishna. Uh, we see this in this yeah. section there is two mayas working. What are the two mayas working here? Yoga maya and maha maya. Ah, good, good. <laughs> see, in, in, in the prison house there is guards who have weapons who are guarding uh, Nanda Mara, uh, sorry, uh, Vasudev. They fell asleep. Watch Maya acts on them. Yoga. Maha maya. Maya they reacts. And then even in, in uh, Gokul, everyone fell asleep. Which Maya acts there? Yoga. So, There is, even for us, there is a choice. <laughs> Which Maya we want to be under? I want to give the Maya. like your Maya. You have to serve Krishna to always be under the protection of Yoga Maya. Et donc, à ce moment-là, à ce moment, à ce moment précis, de, à ce divertissement précis, on peut voir aussi qu'il y a deux Maya qui sont actives, Yoga Maya et Maha Maya. So, et donc, Yoga Maya, c'est pour les dévots, et Maha Maya, c'est pour ceux qui ne veulent pas pas prendre plus de Krishna et sont mis sous la juridiction de Mahamaya. Here, it's, it's Krishna's birth activities are very unique. You know, Krishna is making himself, I am not one of you, you know, for us when we take birth, we cry, we are in the mother's womb, we are suffering, we are struggling, but as soon as you come out, I heard the doctors give a baby a slap, but Sangeeta didn't get one. <laughs> so, In the, in the material world, everything is kind of um, not so sweet, you know, compared to the spiritual realm. Donc, so Krishna shows us is different. Yeah. Uh, donc Krishna nous montre, même à, au moment de sa naissance, qu'il n'est pas comme nous. Quand nous, on prend naissance, on crie, on pleure, on n'est pas confortable dans le ventre de la mer, on se prend une claque du docteur. Mm. Mais, mais lui, Krishna, il... So, uh, Krishna comes to the material world to show that uh, he is not ordinary uh, child, ordinary human. Donc Krishna, à travers son, ap son apparition, il nous montre déjà qu'il ce n'est pas un enfant ordinaire, ce n'est pas quelqu'un d'ordinaire. What is the shloka which in the Bhagavad Gita talks about Krishna's birth? Whenever there is my fall and religion, That's I good. am coming myself. Yes, that's good. He descends from three shlokas. Yes, the famous three shlokas there. Yeah. Krishna talks about it, right? Janma karma jame divyam yomanyo vetti tattvataha tyakto deham punar janma neitima meiti so arjuna. Uh, so Krishna is saying that whoever knows my uh, my birth, janma, karma, my activities, <laughs> chame divyam. There, what is he saying? Mm -hmm. Chame divyam. What does that mean? Uh, you will not take verses. Yeah, divya means they are transcendental. You know what is you know we know the gunas, right? We have a uh, mode of ignorance, mode of passion, mode of goodness. The other one is suddha sattva. Even above suddha sattva is divya. This is transcendence. Above that is spiritual. So Krishna is saying that this is not normal. And Krishna, okay, sorry. Donc Krishna dans la Bhagavad Gita, il a deux versets pour exprimer le fait que son apparition n'est pas ordinaire. Il y a plusieurs versets, et un de ces versets qui dit, je ne connais pas ce mais qui dit que celui qui connaît la nature transcendantale de ma naissance et de mes activités ne, prend plus, ne prendra plus naissance dans ce monde. Donc il met l'accent sur le fait que oui, ma naissance et mes activités sont transcendantales, ne sont pas ordinaires. So, even while his birth, we can see Krishna enter the heart of Vasudeva and then you know he was transferred into the heart of uh, um, Devaki so it, Krishna was wearing Pitambara clothes you don't see Krishna even as a baby was <coughs> naked you know so it's like he comes with all his entourage he's not ordinary he's, he don't come like he comes with yeah he yeah, comes with his, with his uh, golden silk cloth et donc uh, Krishna lui uh, pas naturel sa naissance il est venu dans le mental de Vasudev dans le cœur de Vasudev dans le mental de Vasudev qui a été transféré dans le cœur de Devaki et à partir de ce moment là il, il s'est manifesté et même quand il s'est manifesté il n'est pas venu nu comme nous il est venu avec euh, tous euh, ses vêtements opulents etc even before he appears he gives darshan of uh, the four handed form mm -hmm. to Devaki and Vasudev 
Il y en a donc qui prennent la forme de Krishna. Il avait, il, en, dans, quand il est apparu, il avait la forme à quatre bras de Narayan. Unfortunately, people who don't have the information think that, oh yeah, he's one of us, he has taken birth. Mais ceux qui n'ont pas cette information pensent que Krishna, il, il nous est égal. But we are very fortunate, Prabhupada came and gave us the Shastra very clear, all the commentaries of the Acharyas, we can, uh, we can learn the truth as it is. Et on est vraiment fortuné que Prabhupada Dibi nous a emmené uh, la vérité telle qu'elle est avec les, les bons euh, les arguments chastriques. Yeah. We know the creature Krishna, then we define ourselves. My God, Krishna is definitely, you know, not ordinary like us. <laughs> Donc Krishna n'est euh, évidemment pas comme nous. But still, you know, even after coming to Krishna consciousness, we struggle, we want to enjoy, <laughs> right, separately from Krishna. Même en sachant cela, quand je rencontre le Krishna, we want to have our own, uh, you know, own bits here and there that we stash. We want, don't want to give it up. You know, we think this is real happiness. Même en sachant que, Dieu, que Krishna est Dieu à temps plein suprême, on veut toujours euh, jouir euh, séparément de Krishna. <coughs> so Krishna also, you know, okay, I try, I wait, I wait, I see how we're gonna progress but you know sometimes Krishna also uses yoga maya force on us that we have to give up et Krishna parfois nous aide à abandonner certains attachements euh, par le biais de yoga maya il nous pousse un peu who was the king who was you know claiming himself to be Krishna anybody knows the name from Krishna's past time he was just like us you know we claim ourselves yes yes I am this I am above you know Also take. Uh, huh? No, not Kalanemi. Kalanemi was uh, Kamsa in his past life. Uh, Kalanemi was killed by Krishna. He comes on a lion or a tiger. Anyway. So, you know this uh, king by name called Pondraka. Yeah, he had a, he sent a message to Krishna saying that you know he he was imitating Krishna, he was wearing a Kaustuba jewel. He was wearing uh, Vaijanti Mala. He was actually even like he he put um, extra arms. You know, he was he, he, he was having fake Sudarshan Chakra. You know, he, what what his name? Uh, Pondraka. Pondraka. Yeah. Pondraka. Yeah, Pondraka. Pondraka. <laughs> Donc dans le règne de Krishna, il y a un roi aussi pour revenir sur cette imitation de Krishna. Il y a un roi dans l'île de Krishna qui se prend pour Krishna. Krishna, il s'appelle Pondraka. Et il envoie même un message à Krishna pour lui dire qu'il fait tout comme lui, qu'il s'est même rajouté des bras, qu'il a un sourd à Sham Chakra, etc. Il se prend pour Krishna. He is so... What is the word? Audacity, you know? Yeah. He sent a message to Krishna when Krishna was in Dwarka saying, Krishna, you're fake. I am giving you a warning. Give up your Sudarshan Chakra and surrender to me. Mm. Et donc, ce message pour Dwarka qu'il envoie à Krishna, c'est Krishna... Toi, tu es, es, es un, juste un imitateur, abandonne ton Sudarshan Chakra, abandonne toi à moi. Krishna sent a message back, tell him, you know, I'm going to come and kill him. Et donc, il a, Krishna lui a répondu, lui a renvoyé un message, il a demandé à son messager de dire, dis-lui que je vais venir le tuer. The king had a friend, you know, this is a classic example, we should not associate with the people who are antagonistic to Krishna, this is a very good example. Um, Pondraka had a friend by name called Kachiraj. Rasiraj? Kachiraj. Kachiraj. Mm. Et donc, euh, ce, ce roi qui, qui allait être tué par Krishna, il avait un ami. Et son directement nous montre bien qu'il faut, il faut faire attention à ne pas s'associer avec les gens qui sont antagonistes à Krishna. They both took a big army, you know, Akshohini, lots of elephants, lots of horses, cavalry, you know, they started walking. Uh, towards Dwarka and then Krishna heard about this and Krishna came. Balram was not there that time. Et donc ils ont tous les deux pris, ces deux rois ont pris des armées et ils sont allés confronter Krishna au champ de bataille. And then there is a huge battle in which Krishna easily kills Pondraka with his Sudarshan Chakra. Et donc euh, dans cette bataille, Krishna tue l'imitateur Pondraka avec son Sudarshan Chakra. 
and Kashi Raj, he was the king of Varanasi. He, he said to his kingdom people that today we are going to kill Krishna and I am going to <coughs> throw Krishna's head into the kingdom. I will roll it like a ball. Donc Kashi Raj, l'ami de Pandra, le Pandra. roi Pandraka, le roi de Varanasi, a dit à son peuple Je vais tuer Krishna et je jetterai sa tête. Krishna cut the head of Kashi Raj and he threw it into the kingdom of Varanasi. <laughs> Krishna lui a coupé la tête à lui et a jeté la, sa tête dans son royaume. The family was thinking, the family and the people of that kingdom were thinking, wow, our king is so great, he did what he promised. <laughs> Donc les gens, les gens du peuple disaient, wow, notre roi est, est vraiment incroyable, il a, il a fait ce qu'il qu a dit. They saw the head closer and they realized it is Krishna who killed. Ils sont approchés, ils ont vu que non, c'était pas la tête de Krishna, c'était la tête du roi Kashiraj. So, and now the son of Kashiraj, his name was Sudakshana, he decided to, he took a vow to kill Krishna. Et donc le fils de Kashiraj, Sudakshana, il a, il a fait un vœu de tuer Krishna. He took some priests, he started worshipping Lord Shiva. Avec des prêtres, il a commencé à, à adorer Lord Shiva. When uh, he worship Lord Shiva, Lord Shiva comes, gives him the benediction. Tell me what you want. He he produce a, the, from the fire yakya. They produce a ghost, uh, which was very uh, scary. Et donc Lord Shiva apparaît, lui demande ce qu'il veut et ils font apparaître. De la fumée sacrificielle, ils font apparaître un fantôme. And this ghost was sent to, to destroy Dwarka. Ce fantôme a été envoyé, du coup, il l'a envoyé pour détruire, détruire Dwarka. And what? Everyone took shelter of Krishna in Dwarka. They have asked Krishna, please help Krishna. Send the Sudarshan again. Cut the. Even it is the description says the sky, the earth, everyone were feeling the heat of Sudarshan. Went and killed the. Um, The, 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 the kill all the weapons the ghost had brought so the, the, the ghost retrieves et donc euh, à Dvarka tous les, tous les citoyens ils ont pris refuge en Krishna et Krishna a construit la chaîne chakra il a, il a renvoyé le fantôme ailleurs quoi. il a détruit tout all ça. the army everything was destroyed of the ghost and the ghost you know according to the Uh, this tantric thing, if you invoke a ghost, and if the ghost cannot get the target, the ghost will go to the person who created it. Mm -hmm. Et donc, euh, mais si, accordément les sciences un peu occultes, le fantôme, s'il est invoqué, et il va revenir à, son, à, à la personne qu'il a invoqué s'il ne peut pas accomplir la mission qui lui a été donnée. So the ghost kills Sudakshana and destroys the full of Varanasi. Donc, euh, le, le, Fantôme a tué Sudakshana et uh, il a détruit uh, Varanasi. Et il a détruit Varanasi, la ville. So it's it's good for us to see that we should not associate with the people against Krishna, and we should be, you know, it's not only if we are not properly performing devotional service and it affects not just us but also our dependents. Donc on ne devrait pas s'associer avec les gens qui sont antagonistes à Krishna. Et de la même façon, on doit faire notre service de dévotion correctement. Ça peut même affecter les gens qui nous entourent. We can see from the example of uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita. Can anybody think of any pastime which, when Nityananda was offended, uh, it also affected one, one village. Anybody can think of this pastime? Et donc dans, le, dans le Chaitanya Charitamrita aussi, un exemple de cela. Le Lord Nityananda s'était offensé et ça a affecté un village. There was a uh, Jamindar, I think there was that time, there was landlords. The, the Jamindar's, Jamindar's name was uh, Ramachandra Khan. He actually provoked a prostitute to go and disturb Haridas Thakur. Mm -hmm. So this is the only pastime you could see in Chaitanya Charitamrita that Nityananda gets really angry at someone <laughs> and he doesn't want to give the mercy. Of course he gave mercy to Jagai Madai, he was being merciful to everyone, you know, he, he even stopped Lord Chaitanya from killing Jagai Madai. 
But in this scenario, you see, we intentionally want to hurt other devotees and disturb their devotional service. This is really detrimental. Dans ce divertissement, le roi Raman Chandra Khan envoie une prostituée pour, pour détourner Haridas Thakur du service de dévotion. Et même si le Seigneur Nityananda est tellement miséricordieux qu'il a, a même pardonné les Jaga et Madai qu'il avait physiquement agressés, là, il, si, on, si on veut perturber le service de dévotion d'un autre dévot, faire du mal à sa bhakti, là, la, merci, la, la miséricorde même du Seigneur Nityananda ne Nityananda was even trying to give him mercy, saying that I am coming to your house to stay. Nityananda was like, this is the last chance you're going to get. But what this uh, Janda did, you're coming, but my house, I don't have a space for you. You know, this guy is like denying the mercy which is coming, you know. Yeah, Ramachandra Khan. And so even the Seigneur Nityananda, he has even given a last chance to say, okay, I'll go to you. And the Seigneur Ramachandra Khan, he says you can stay in the Durga Mandap. I, mean, I think uh, in Bengal this is a tradition that when you build a house, they build an outhouse where they worship Durga or Kali. Mm. They, they, they cook meat there, you know, they do the offering to Kali there. So Durga Mandap is like an outhouse but not like a very good facility. Nityananda said that oh, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm, like he, he says few words which are kind of like, you know, tells that nobody wants to come and stay here. I think there was a Jamdar. Again, one more leader comes, kills a cow there, and they, 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 they serve the cow meat to everyone. It's like a very horrifying story. It all seeds from where? Vaishnava Parana. Yeah. So, yeah, this, this meat was cooked and served, and Nityananda said, and the whole village becomes barren. It's very... Uh, like dry, there's, mm. there's no life, oh. everyone is suffering, okay. like drought. Et donc ce, ce, ce Ramachandra Khan, il a proposé à Nityananda, à Seigneur Nityananda, de, bah, il, a, il lui a dit j'ai pas de place à l'intérieur, alors tu peux rester. Et traditionnellement, à l'extérieur de la maison, en Inde, ils, ils construisaient des temples de Kali, donc où ils font des sacrifices à Kali, donc d'animaux et puis ils offrent de la viande. Et donc il lui a proposé de rester là. Et, et du coup là le, le Seigneur Nitanday a dit non je ne peux pas rester là il faut que je parte et avec cette offense en fait tout le village ou tout, tout le peuple de Ramachandra Khan leur, leur territoire il a été vraiment affecté quoi. et c'est devenu sec et sans vie So what we do we always be careful have our guards up when we are dealing with devotees be careful with our dealings um, we have to be gentle with the, our um, Sangha, Vaishnavas. There's a very famous shloka, Prahlad Maharaj quotes that uh, one who wears shoes, for him the pebbles don't hurt. Anybody knows this shloka? Very famous shloka. Sada santushta manasa sarva shiva mayadishaha sarkara kanta kodivyo yato panapada shivam. This is a famous shloka which says that you know the one who wears shoes that pebbles when you walk don't hurt outside. Um, this, uh, the next line goes on to explain, the first two lines explain that Sada Santushta Manasa, the one who is very satisfied in his devotional service, Sarva Shiva Maya Dishaha, what it does is, it brings auspiciousness in all directions. Shiva means auspiciousness. Sarva Shiva Maya Dishaha, Disha means? Yes. Directions. Sarva Shiva Maya all directions you are bringing auspiciousness to yourself. Sarkara Kanta Kodiva, this is the third line which explains that the one who wears the shoes, you know, the pebbles don't hurt when he walks. The same way, when we are doing devotional service, when we are Santushta Manasa, when we are satisfied, when we are, you know, when we are focused in our devotional life, it's all auspicious. This is a very nice look up of Pralad Maharaj quotes. Pralad Maharaj, un des versets que dit Pralad Maharaj, qui nous apprend quelque chose, c'est que le service de dévotion, quand il est bien pratiqué, c'est comme des bottes quand on va marcher dans la forêt, ça nous protège des épines. 
et de même que ça amène euh, tout hospice dans toutes les directions. Donc, euh, il faut vraiment euh, qu'on peut aller faire des dévotions correctement. It's amazing. It's amazing to see that you know when when someone does something extraordinary, we get we get like wow, you know, this guy is capable of you know <laughs> doing things extraordinarily. But you see that only lasts for a certain time. If you compare to what Krishna has done or Krishna is doing, whatever the 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 people from this world, whatever we do, it doesn't match Krishna. You know, we know that you know I come from famous place in South India. This is a sadhu who takes ashes from his hand and people call him God. Mm -hmm. God has specific qualifications, right? Bhagavan. Bhagavan has all the opulences. But you know, okay, that's good that they call him Bhagavan. Mm -hmm. I don't want to mention the name. So, you know, the, the ordinary men of this world can do something which is, you know, little bit extraordinary compared to what we are doing. That doesn't mean that they are equivalent to God. God is God, you know. Nobody can lift Govardhan Hill. You know, Prabhupada was, uh, I was reading this book, Prabhupada was quoting that there was a devotee uh, who said, Oh, Prabhupada, in the Nectar of Instruction, uh, it is said that we should go to Radha Kund. Oh, Prabhupada said, Oh, you know, <laughs> Prabhupada knew how to defeat all the argument. That's the ninth sloka. Prabhupada said, the first loka says, Vacho Vegam, Manasa Krodha Vegam. What does it mean? means control your senses. Vacho Vegam, Manasa Krodha Vegam. You know, control your anger. And then you can talk about Radha Kun. But we are, Prabhupada was quoting that, you know, you are not ready to do the first eight and then you want to do the same like 10th canto story. You know. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> uh, le Prabhu voulait écrire un point parce que lui, il vient d'un, c'est aussi que Dieu, lui, peut faire des choses. Euh, personne, aucune entité vivante, aucun jiva ne peut matcher euh, la grandeur de, de Krishna. Krishna peut faire des choses incroyables tout le temps, et des divertissements exceptionnels, mais les, les hommes eux, ont juste une petite partie de l'opulence de Krishna parfois. Même les, les grandes personnalités, les gens qui peuvent faire des choses incroyables, même des yogis, ils ne peuvent pas... Ils ont seulement un tout petit peu de l'opulence de Krishna. Okay, it's almost nine o'clock. Anybody has any corrections, comments? I have a question. Yes. Uh, because Krishna wants to mention about the Sita Ambara, mm -hmm. Krishna is wearing yellow, but why are these Sita decorations in so many other colors? Well, we worship Krishna um, in the, you know, it's deity worship is started according to <coughs> what Krishna instructs Uddhava. I don't know if you know, there is a uh, chapter in the 12th canto. Whatever directions it is giving, and then one more book we follow is uh, uh, Pancharatri Kaviti. So whatever is written there, uh, and Hari Bhakti Vilas, books like this. Uh, yeah, whatever is written there. Actually, Krishna is worshipped in the mood of a Grihastha. So, you know, that's... If you look at undergarments of Krishna when you become Pujari, it's actually it's yellow. Okay, of course, Krishna is wearing yellow. And you know, to please his devotees, he will wear some colors sometimes, just like green and white today. If you, you should read the deity worship chapter of Krishna speaking to Uddhava. It's a very nice chapter. You know, it's nothing we speculate, we follow Acharya, Krishna. There's so many things, like even Krishna says, so many things he blows you away in that chapter. Donc, pour question Mataji m'a demandé à propos de quelques détails techniques dans comment on adore les déités. Et le Chan Prabhu répond que, enfin, l'important c'est vraiment qu'on suit les acharyas. Euh, même comment adorer la déité, ça nous est donné par Krishna, c'est pas quelque chose où on va spéculer. C'est vraiment une science qui doit être suivie. Donc, suivre les autorités en dans comment adorer les déités. See, in that sense, Lord Chaitanya is a sannyasi, right? We should be worshipping him as sannyasi. No, we cannot worship him like putting ornaments, jewelries for a sannyasi. Sannyasi is renunciant. Mm -hmm. So we worship in the mode of Grihastha. On adore Krishna, par exemple, les déités, on les adore dans avec l'attitude, dans le mood, dans l'humeur de Grihastha, parce que par exemple. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, qui est l'incarnation de Krishna, qui est Krishna lui-même en fait, euh, on peut, on, 
on, on l'adorera pas en lui mettant des beaux habits tout ça parce que c'est un sale esprit. Donc euh, ça me dépasse un peu plus. Mais... Ok, any other question? Anything? No, 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 Class in different places. Mm. If they want to change a little bit this word you now, sometimes, sometimes before they want to write it sometimes in the class, but this word, in key, in key mood is the body feeling this this word ordinary, I am ordinary soul. Mm -hmm. No? Mm. Is there, uh, good if the body is feeling like this, mm. I am an ordinary soul. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, like, you know. Um, so, see, like there are so many interpretations for this yeah. word, no? You see, the, the point is, uh, nobody can deny the soul is Satchidananda, first of all. Mm. The problem is, you see, we have taken up this body and we are thinking this body is God or the Lord. You see? Mm. We want to transform our thought process from, uh, uh, you know, thinking I am extraordinary. We want to start thinking Krishna is extraordinary. Mm. Acharyas are extraordinary. Mm. Uh, that's the switching point, you know, in the temple, that's what happens. You know, uh, but we are not belittling the soul. Any soul, you know, but at the same time, I cannot put uh, any soul equal into Krishna. So we have to kind of like, you know, put Krishna up somehow. So, you know, when you preach in India, the, the saintly people, they, they, they come, you know. You know, in the 11th canto, I think the sloka quoted by a uh, uh, famous sloka, Aila Gita. You know, there is this Aila Gita. It is said that a sadhu comes with a, with a sharp mm. weapon. You know, what is the sharp weapon? Mm. Sharp words. Mm. You know, if you see Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta, the, the way they speak, they cut through mm. your material bondage with a weapon of word. Yeah. You see, uh, the famous sloka I memorized, I don't remember. Yeah. So when they come, they come and cut the knots of the material bond. <coughs> Anyone can pomper us, oh, you're an extraordinary soul. What it does to you? Yeah. It just puts our ego up. Someone has to tell you, you are, you are. But you see, at the advanced stages, you, you don't think yourself useless or ordinary. You are, you are thinking this soul, this body, he is there to serve Krishna. You make it extraordinary yourself by, by doing the right thing. The wrong thing is serving my senses for my own pleasure. But the, the, the right thing is, this is also extraordinary when it is used in Krishna's seva. So that's, that's the switching point. We don't belittle anything. But as I said, the sadhus, they come and wake us up. You know, hey, wake up. Like the Soma Sankarshan, plutôt excès sur est-ce que le dévot il doit qu'est-ce que c'est vraiment que l'humilité dire que voilà je suis pas quelqu'un d'exceptionnel tout ça euh, parce que parfois les dévots ils interprètent différemment l'humilité ou ne pas être exceptionnel être quelqu'un d'ordinaire et la réponse de le chant Prabhu c'est un vaste mais, mais en, dans un premier lieu on est tous puffed up dans ce monde matériel et les acharyas ils viennent couper l'attachement matériel et faux ego avec, avec les mots. Et euh, donc ça c'est la première partie. Et, mais il dit que dans le service de dévotion, euh, avec un stage avancé, l'humilité c'est pas se dire que ah, moi je suis inutile, tout ça. Euh, donc, le dévot avancé il va, voir, il va voir ses propres limites, mais il va voir qu'il peut utiliser ce corps. Je ne suis pas ce corps, je suis là, mais je peux utiliser ce corps pour Krishna. Il n'est plus déjà identifié à ce corps. Mais euh, oui, c'est ma petite question. Ça. Mais oui. le, le Jalanda Maharaj aussi, just adding something. Jalanda Maharaj dit aussi que l'humilité, c'est pas penser moins de moi, mais c'est moins penser à moi. Et du coup, le processus, c'est pas de se dire moi je suis normal, extraordinaire, c'est de voir à quel point Krishna est extraordinaire. Se mettre l'attention vers Krishna. Okay. Sorry, Ravi. Sorry. No.
Judge and they did uh, they, they, they took a, a wrong uh, decision. 